Welcome to another video. This time we're going to have a quick peek at the next few features that I'm adding to RTB. Um, I've been working on adding text into the interface and it was a bit of a struggle but it's um, working rather well now. And the first use of it that I've um, done is to have some numbers here which represent the distance between the nodes as well as at the end of each track the distance of the entire track. So as you move those about it's going to display a bit of information about the track. Now when you get to it around the 1000 meter mark or precisely the 1000 meter mark the, um, the distance turns red just as a bit of a reminder to try and keep your, your tracks shorter. I noticed um, some people create long tracks and that's not great for RTB performance and when you export these into the games of choice usually they prefer smaller chunks of road as well rather than really long tracks. So you can join many tracks together to form very long tracks but keep uh, each single track there. Um, I, I recommend about a kilometre each so that's what I've got it set to at the moment. You can change those settings there. Uh, you can turn it off if you want. Set it to zero if you don't want any warning um, or change it to another number if you prefer a different distance. Um, so that was the, the first use of text that I put in there. Um, secondly, uh, I've also been working on the, the cross sections. Um, I've just brightened them up a bit so you can find them in the road. Um, and as you might notice there, I've also got some numbers happening across the cross section. Um, these numbers represent the, the distance between those nodes. And also, once you select a node, um, a point, uh, you get the, the coordinates there, the X and Y coordinates. Um, so as I move that up and down, the Y will change. Or if I hold X down and move it from side to side, you get the coordinates coordinates there so you can get a, a measurement for how um, wide your track is. It's 9.3 and this one will be negative 9.2 which is 18.5 in total. So a little bit of math required to work out how wide your track is but that's a, a way to, to work it out. Um, there's a few other things that I've done. One is to create a slightly different way to, to manipulate these um, these points, actually if I just grab this centre one it's probably going to work it better. Um, at the current um, RTV version you can grab those points and move them up. But if you want more of a, a curve across this section rather than having all these points straight it means going and manipulating each and every single point. Um, so I've added this feature here called fade movement. I might change the wording of that. I'm not so good with English, better with math since my first language. And um, you just raise up and down there and the strength is, is fading as it goes towards the sides. Uh, undo that and you know, from this side you, you see the impact it has. Um, so that works pretty well. Um, in addition to that we've got some features and to access them you can right click so we can go shape a line 100% and it's going to form that into a straight line. Um, if I just do undo on that and align say 25% it just moves them down a quarter of the way to being in line. Um, in addition to that we've got uh, flip horizontally which is just going to flip the whole shape from one side to the other so if you want to see that a, a little bit more um, if I had that side raised and flip horizontally then we're going to see that being raised over there as well as the shape of the road being changed um, so that's hopefully useful and the best feature whoops I've got two shapes selected at the moment um, so I've got this shape and that shape and it doesn't know which one to copy so I'm just going to deselect and select that one. Now we'll go shape copy and then we'll paste it in multiple places. Right click, paste, paste. Okay so that's um, pasted on those three. Um, 
this here is one single track with another track joined to it here so if I go paste and we've got several options here we go paste this track it's just doing it for this uh, track here um, if I say paste all join tracks then it's going to do it for the rest of um, any tracks that are joined and finally if I say paste to all tracks it goes over to all of the other tracks that we had just made um, or that were in the venue um, so that's yeah, the latest stuff that I've been working on some of the features there you'll notice that the, the text appears as you get close to it a um, bit of a nice feature and um, yeah things are, are shaping up well um, this next version should be out for beta testing uh, hopefully this weekend um, unless you're of course looking at this video sometime in the future in which case it's probably already out um, anyway, thanks for watching and hope you're enjoying RTB lately.